Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? So unless you're part of the five people on this planet that haven't watched Avengers Infinity War yet, this video will be going into spoilers for the movie, so just wanted to put it out there so you have been warned. Anyways, so Infinity War is on its way to earning $1 billion worldwide in less than 10 days of opening, and so it's obviously also on its way to breaking all sorts of records, including beating out the recent Star Wars film The Last Jedi, and also Black Panther. But it's a different story in Japan because somehow Infinity War actually ranked second place in its opening weekend, getting beat out by an anime movie that none of us would have expected to rank so high, especially since that anime movie is already in its third week of screening. That movie in question is the new Detective Conan movie, Zero the Enforcer. Now, if you're living in Japan, you would understand just how popular Detective Conan still is, as every movie they pump out pretty much beats out most big Western movies that are released in Japan. But as one of the most exciting and hyped Marvel releases of recent time, I expected Avengers to do a little better. But apparently, this all might have something to do with the cringy advertising they specifically made for Japan that was very different than what the rest of the world got. While the rest of us in the West got normal trailers with epic music, Japan had their own version of an Infinity War trailer, which got quite a negative response on the internet with people complaining about how bad they are, and they're actually kind of funny even if you don't understand Japanese. I have them linked in the description below. They're obviously trying to appeal to the younger generation that is obsessed with their phones, as their ad even has a part where it looks like a screen capture of two people texting each other about how cool Iron Man is. Then you got two people with super happy voices in the background trying to hype up every little action the Avengers are doing as if they're action figures. It's pretty comical, and they have a separate one of these commercials for each of the Avenger, so they were pretty sure these were gonna work. The dislike ratio on these were through the roof with about 10 dislikes to one like, so clearly the Japanese audiences didn't like them very much. But you can't really blame a couple of trailers for a movie's success or failure, because it's not like the movie did bad. In fact, it did pretty well grossing about 10 million USD in its first four days of release in Japan, which I'm pretty sure is definitely better than what the two previous Avenger movies did in Japan, at least in the beginning. So, an anime movie beats out Infinity War in Japan, but what's more funny is that some people are saying Infinity War may have anime-inspired moments, which totally isn't true by the way, but still funny. The first obvious one was a possible reference to Naruto when Doctor Strange teamed up with Iron Man and the Guardians of the Galaxy to fight Thanos. Doctor Strange started doing his usual mystical shtick and pulled out Kagebunshin no Jitsu by making clones of himself. He didn't do the hand sign, but it was almost close enough. So is this one true? Did the Avengers just give us a Naruto reference? The answer is, unfortunately no. Doctor Strange has always been known to be able to make clones of himself. He actually first used this ability all the way back in an issue of the Doctor Strange comic back in 1964. So definitely way before Naruto even started. But for some of us, Doctor Strange using Kagebunshin no Jitsu is gonna stay as headcanon, so I'm just gonna leave it as that. Now the next one is pretty interesting, as someone pointed out some parallels to Dragon Ball Super in the Infinity Gauntlet. At the end of the movie, after getting the last Infinity Stone, Thanos succeeds to wipe out half of the universe as he had planned, just like how Gods of Destruction from Dragon Ball Super can use Hakai to destroy things with basically a snap of their fingers. Now maybe Gods of Destruction can't wipe out half of everything in existence according to his will, but Zeno certainly can, and it seems like Thanos has essentially ascended to that level with his completed Infinity Gauntlet. The next one that's even more absurd are some people comparing Thanos to Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. They're both galactic villains trying to kill a lot of people. They're both aliens going to Earth in search of treasure. Thanos is after the Infinity Stones, and Frieza, the Dragon Balls. They're both also known for being the strongest in the universe when their respective arcs occurred. Thanos has an elite crew of warriors called the Black Order, while Frieza has the Ginyu Force. And to top it all off, the biggest clue to their connection is that they're obviously from the same race, as they're both purple. Didn't see that one coming, did you? So that is it for Avengers Infinity War in Japan. How did you like Infinity War and did you cry at the end? And if you still haven't watched the movie yet, I don't know why you're still watching this video. But anyways, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to thumbs up before you leave, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications if you want to be updated with the latest going on in Japan. And I'll see you guys in the next one.